Wii Sports, the most simple yet entertaining game that I put my entire heart and soul into. In 2006, Nintendo released the Wii, and then along with the console, they released Wii Sports, a game that came bundled with the Wii itself. In the game, you could play sports like baseball, tennis, golf, but eight-year-old me in particular was obsessed with Wii Bowling. Just look at it, the graphics, the realism, the total immersion. I was on cloud nine. I'd spent countless hours ranking up until I was considered a real pro. I had beaten epic bosses like my little brother and Matt. Then one tragic day, I decided to remake my me. You know, the little avatars that you made of yourself in the games. You know, just cause it was fun to make them and you can't convince me that you never tried to make the most ungodly, ugly looking me you've ever seen. Everyone's done it. But something that I did not know was uh, that your game rank was saved to your me. Meaning that when I went back to go play some more Wii Bowling, all of my progress had been deleted. And now 18 years later, I still lose sleep to this day. Now I don't have the energy to go back and reclaim my rank, but what if, what if I could just kind of get back? And you know, the fastest way for me to do that would to just be getting perfect games over and over again. Now a perfect game is pretty hard to get. It's possible, it's difficult though. But what if there was a way to get a perfect game every single time? And then I remembered my engineering degree, which was in front of my Wii. I then looked around for a mannequin because you know, if you're playing video games with a robot, we want it to look as human as possible. And apparently Dan just kind of, you know, had one sitting in the back of his car. What did you do to his feet? Don't worry about it. Where's his head? You're asking a lot of questions. See, this way, we, we've got the proper mechanics of a human arm. Did you know that these are actually pretty expensive? Why did you cut his feet off then? Do you want the mannequin or not? Are we going to eat one of No, we we'll just have to add in the... Bro, oh, come on. You don't know the strap. Ooh. I thought you were better than that. Just let it go. Bro. Oh. Can't you just do the same thing every time? <laughs> A second bowling ball has hit the pin. I used to be better at this. Is this on purpose? right. As an engineer, I can't work, but also as an engineer, uh, you want your inventions to be very human. So we're gonna just take this mannequin's arm and make him swing the Wii remote. So I've got this lazy Susan bearing and I'm gonna just basically mount it to his arm. Are you doing this in a trash can because you refuse to clean your work uh, surface? I have other priorities. Really though, whose who's, who's workbench is clean, right? Like if your workbench is clean, then are you actually ever doing anything? All those people with like the nice clean like setups for their videos. I don't trust them. I don't trust them one bit. If you like, like look at NASA, they're all like wearing clean clothes and everything's clean. Yeah, look what I'm wearing. Does this look like NASA to you? No, that looks like t-shirts that are available on emilytheengineer.shop. Oh shop. my god! <laughs> that also looks political. So now that the hard part is done, all we have to do is create a servo controlled Wii remote holder that presses the buttons at the specific times that the buttons need to be pressed at to release the bowling ball in the game. Um, oh look, is this a servo controlled Wii remote holder? When I press a button, the top servo is gonna go down, hit A to go to the next turn, and then it will hold down B for three seconds and release. But uh, apparently the Wii remote sensor on the front can't be covered, which, which is crazy, right? <laughs> First, I made sure we had gotten the timing right with the servos by not pressing any buttons and just swinging my arm. Back and let go. It was a little finicky, so we moved over to the mannequin to where each swing was gonna be exactly identical every single time and tried it that way. Now we're gonna try it just kind of holding it up and then letting it go at the appropriate time. Okay, a start. We can go one of two routes here, where we have something that lets it go and lets it rock back and forth, or we just straight up stick a servo in that. I mean, that's dead on. We, we need a little bit more oomph. Isn't this just like average Wii Sports gameplay? I, I feel like I could beat this thing. I mean, like right now, we just haven't made it repeatable yet. Yeah, but there has to be some randomness built into the game itself, so I don't really know how repeatable you can make it. So to stick it to Dan, I decided to host an event where others could come try to beat the Wii robot. Now, was it built yet? No. 
Was I now about to give myself a deadline that I had to perfect it by? Maybe. But if I succeed, I prove Dan wrong. So I would make a website to invite people to the event, share it with all my friends, and get them to share it with their friends. Only problem is I, I don't know how to code a website, and I needed something easy enough for an infant to use. So uh, I did go, oh, go, I sensed the ad segue. That was smooth, wasn't it? So I used Hostinger to build a website from the ground up, who also just so happens to be the sponsor of today's video. With Hostinger, I added the name of the website and got to choose a free domain that was included with my plan. They're one of the most cost-effective builders out there for sure with affordable prices and a bunch of tools to make website building easy. I was able to use their AI website builder to simply describe what I wanted my website to be and it honestly delivered crazy good results without me having to lift a finger. The website looked way more legitimate than if I were to design it from scratch and it allowed me to adjust and tweak whatever I wanted after. I was able to add my own pictures or pictures from their photo library or if you prefer you can use their built-in image generator. So if you need a website made quick and easy be sure to take your ideas to Hostinger. You can head to hostinger.com slash Emily and can use discount code Emily for an extra 10% off. So thank you to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Now back to the project. I uh, just locked myself into finishing. How much of an arc do we actually need to have? We can just kind of go. We're going to do that. We added a motor to swing the Wii remote. And so now it should hit the A button and then hold down B, swing it and release. And from here, we went through a couple iterations with the servo mounted in different positions along the remote. We did this until we finally landed on a version with two posts holding the remote and swinging it forward. Uh, the problem is though, we needed a little bit more speed. This thing was going way too slow. It's just literally, it's perfect. It just needs, needs a little bit more oomph to it, you know? At this point, we didn't know what to do. We were at a stalemate, okay? So I turned to the internet to see if anyone had tried doing this before and uh, lo and behold I just can't be original I guess because this guy did it 17 years ago with Legos. Will Gorman created the WeGoBot that gets a perfect score every single time and I, I can't do it with a bunch of 3D printers and other things that weren't popular 17 years ago. Legos! Our second design does look like what uh, Will had, so we have to be on the right track. And from there, we just kept changing a bunch of gear ratios until we got it somewhere near right. And when I say we spent a lot of time playing Wii Bowling, I mean we spent... We spent... Sorry. We tweaked the code over and over and over again, changing things like the timing of the buttons, the type of swing, everything. And every now and again, it would pay off, but it just wasn't consistent. You see the dark circles under my eyes? I don't think you do. Zoom in. I actually don't. And not only that, remember the original goal of this video to get my pro rank back as fast as I possibly could? Well, turns out when you make a robot that wee bowls and you have to test it over and over again in wee bowling, you get that rank back pretty fast. So now my new goal is to just be beat everyone. Beat everyone and obviously get a perfect game because if I don't do that, then what's the freaking point? I was starting to get a little nervous, okay? All my friends would be over to compete against this thing soon and it wasn't even working yet. Yet, I knew it was possible because Will Gorman did it in a cave with a box of scraps. But after some research, I realized people weren't just aiming straight. They move over to the side in the game before they bolt. Oh, come on, you don't know the strap. And upon further inspection of the crisp 17-year-old footage from Will Gorman, he did it too. So we added a third servo to the D-pad on the Wii remote, printed up some better gears, and once again spent like 10 years dialing in the timing with the button, so uh, I'll spare you the suffering that we went through for now. But after a while, it started to look pretty promising. Now that I pick up the camera, it's not gonna work. <gasps> Wait. Oh, okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Please. please! No, 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 please, no. No! This game, we had gotten a whopping 10 strikes and then proceeded to fail on the last turn, but it's fine because we had finally succeeded in making it reasonably consistent. However, when we finally went for the perfect game, it decided to want to get maybe 10 strikes in a row and then maybe throw a fluke on the 11th turn. So we spent forever running it over and over and over again until there seemed to be some hope. In fact, when I had to go off and join a brief meeting, Dan decided to try to get the perfect score himself. I got eight in a row! Nine! I know you just didn't do really well while he called. I know you did. 
I know, I know you didn't just do that when I was over there. I literally walk out of the room for five minutes. I pressed the button 10 times. If you had actually made it, I would have been genuinely upset. We can do it, we can do it. We can do it. We're past eight. We're past eight. Not dead yet. Please. Two. Please. Two. Just two. Please. One. That's all. Did you see one more? Just one more. Please, 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 please. Today's the day I have successfully gathered all of my friends in one place to try out the bowl bot. There are four of us here and one of them is your husband. Listen. Okay, we gotta we got make a new me for uh, our, our robot. Overall, the bowl bot, rabbit, whatever you want to call him, did pretty well. Now, is it absolutely perfect? Not necessarily. But, I mean, when you're getting 11 strikes per game, it's gonna be nearly impossible to beat, un uh, unless you're this guy, I guess. <laughs> You can do it. I believe. I believe. <laughs> oh, oh, he put a spin on it. Oh, oh. You can do it. The real question is, did Will Gorman's WeGoBot operate flawlessly every time, or did he simply upload the one clip of it working perfectly? The world will never know. Yeah, honestly, Whoa. it's not even about the 300, yeah. the professional says. It's the fact that Jonathan's at 103 and came in last place. Yeah, you're sleeping on the couch, I'm sorry. Nevertheless, no one was able to beat the bot in a group setting, even with the occasional fluke, and it blew everyone out of the water every time it played them one-on-one. -on -one. So, was it worth it? I, I, I mean, listen, okay, I'm gonna be having this stupid theme song in my head for the next month, and I officially will probably never play Wii Bowling ever again, so uh, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. You like to do the honors, sir. By the way, if this misses, I'm blaming you. <laughs> Dan 